What is up, guys? And welcome to another episode of the Market Marauder Show. All right, hope everybody's having a great week out there. Uh, prayers up to those who are without power or who, you know, have been hit by this winter storm. I know me personally, we were hit by the winter storm uh, down here. Had some uh, branches and stuff falling in the uh, back patio, so uh, I know all firsthand about what's going on. Uh, just some crazy stuff going on in general. But uh, I thought I'd give you this video, uh, talk about some of the uh, penny stocks uh, that I'm watching, and just uh, I know it helps a lot of people out there. So let's jump into it. Uh, so first one we have check us on PXS. Um, so they have a week high of four dollars and sixty cents uh, overall. Moving average ten is above fifty one hundred, uh, and VWAP is above moving average ten, so positive on both of those metrics. Uh, looks like it fell down quite a bit after hours, though. Uh, went to two ninety six, uh, and then we can see it went down sixty one more cents at two thirty five. Uh, so overall, uh, still bullish though on the stock in general. Um, both my indicators uh, are positive, so definitely going to be keeping a close eye out on PXS. Next, we have ticker on SOS, uh, which. Uh, we can see on here it's had a pretty nice rally uh, from this 530 level, uh, kind of rallied up to $13.69. Uh, end of the day at $11.84 today, um, but then after hours went up to went up $1.71 and at 13 uh, 55 uh, So going back to touch that uh, $13.69 weekly high. Overall though, VWAP is still uh, kind of stagnant uh, in my personal opinion. I'm going to be looking to see VWAP jump back up some more. Hopefully, it'll jump up tomorrow. Uh, moving average 10 is above 5,100. VWAP is above moving average 10. So, uh, both indicators are positive in my book, though. Uh, still going to be looking at SOS for tomorrow. Next, we have Trigger Sign LKCO. Uh, also, bear in mind it's a short week. Uh, there was no trading on Monday for President's Day. So, um, just bear in mind it's a short week. So, markets behave a little differently on short weeks as well. Uh, it may not rally until. Um, um, probably Thursday afternoon, uh, usually, or Friday. So uh, definitely going to be looking and keeping that in mind uh, when trading as well uh, because it is a short week of trading. Uh, next, we have Tucker on LKCO. Uh, they had a week high of $3.85 or $3.86. Um, overall, still bullish though. Moon average 10 is above 5,100. VWAP is below moon average 10. Uh, so definitely going to be keeping a close eye on this one because if that VWAP does not go above moon average 10, maybe some more sideways momentum uh, being in between the oscillatory range of this 264. To about this two, to about this 350 range. So I think it'll probably oscillate between there uh, if this VWAP does not cross back and become positive uh, on the moving average 10. Uh, but overall, still bullish on the name in general. Ended the day at three dollars even. Uh, after hours went down 18 cents to end at 282. Uh, but overall, still above the moving average 50 and 100. Next, we have ticker sign ALJJ, uh, which hit 278 uh, this week. Moving average 10 is above 5,100. VWAP is above moving average 10, so positive on both metrics. Uh, but also bear in mind I'm using the 30-minute chart, um, and I'm also using the indicators of VWAP 14, which is located in the indicator section here. Moving average 10, 50, and 100, uh, which are located here. And this is also from the perspective of Webull. So if you'd like to sign up for Webull and get two free stocks when you deposit $100 or more, I have a link down below in the description uh, where you can sign up and follow along. You do not have to sign up for uh, Webull to get the charts. So when you go on webull.com, just type it into your browser. You can get the same charts that I'm using and just type in the indicators for VWAP, which will be uh, in the indicator section. And then uh, click this circle right here and you can add the moving average 10, 50, and 100 uh, to your chart analysis. And then bear in mind, this is the 30 minute interval. So if you look at the three minute, 10 minute, uh, one day, one week, one quarter, they'll all be different charts, uh, not like the 30 minute chart so 30 minute chart is the one i prefer to use um, but different uh people like to use different time intervals uh but this is the one that i stick with so going to the next one we have sugar sign uh or let's go back over this one so they touched two dollars and 78 cents uh ended at 203 uh and then after hours went down 12 cents and at 191 uh, so overall still bullish though on both indicators, uh, moving average 10 above 5100 and VWAP is above moving average 10. 
Next, we have ticker sign TRCH, uh, which had a week high of $4.83, ended at $4.29 uh, for the day, uh, had a 50.54% increase, so it still increased quite a bit. Uh, after hours went down 14 cents to end at 4.15 uh, for the day. Uh, VWAP is above moving average 10. I mean, moving average 10 is above 50 and 100, so that's this red line, uh, and it is above moving average 50 and 100 which is this yellow line and this purple line so yellow being the 50 purple being the moving average 100 um, and moving average 10 is above both of those so bullish on that one and VWAP is right at moving average 10 so uh, if we look on here it's kind of been going sideways for quite a while so uh, gonna be some more oscillation again with this one in my personal opinion if this VWAP does not shoot back up um, above the moving average 10 line so gonna be looking for an oscillatory range between 480 uh, to about this 390 range so looks to be consistent with that uh, those are kind of the peaks that it's been through so it hit 283 but didn't really get to 290 I mean hit uh, 43 but didn't really get to this uh, 4 well yeah hit that 483 level uh, being a new peak but didn't really get down to this uh, 389 level so still oscillating between uh, both of those next we have ticker sign W U S W S um, moving average 10 is above 50 and 100 uh, so let's scroll out a little bit because the moving average 100 line is kind of way below here. Uh, so moving average 10 is above 50 and 100. So red line is above yellow and purple line. VWAP is above moving average 10. Definitely looks like some upward momentum coming from this one. Touched 229. So that's their weekly high. Uh, we'll have to retest that level uh, eventually, but ended at 208 for today. Uh, went two cents down after hours to end at 206, but overall still bullish on the name in general. Uh, VWAP is above moving average 10, moving average 10 above 50 or 100, so positive on both of my indicators. Next, we have ticker sign XIN, uh, and they had a week high of $2.71. Uh, overall, still bullish on this one as well. Moving average 10 is above 50 or 100. VWAP is above moving average 10, uh, so positive on both of my indicators. Uh, even though I would like to see VWAP continue to go up, it's starting to go sideways. So, uh, like again, I saw another one, maybe some more oscillatory range going on here. Uh, between this 371, which is high, uh, down to this 3. Uh, 05 level or 307 level uh, which is the bottom of this candlestick so probably going to be oscillating between here uh, these two levels until um, it can get uh, this VWAP to go back up so definitely be keeping a close eye on this one uh, to see if it can break through this 371 level Next, we have ticker sign DFFN. Uh, they are bullish. Moving average 10 is above 50 and 100. Uh, but just like the other one, VWAP is kind of stagnant on this one. On this one, VWAP is below moving average 10. Uh, even though it barely is, it's still below. Uh, so we're going to be looking for an oscillatory range on this one as well. Between this 178 level uh, down to this 146 level. Uh, so going to be oscillating between uh, that until this VWAP can go back up. Next, we have ticker sign EVOL, uh, which is bullish. Moon average 10 is above 50 and 100. Uh, and VWAP is above moon average 10. So a lot of positive momentum on this one. Uh, shot up to $3.55 cents this week. Uh, it was a week high. Ended at $3.48 today. Went down $0.38 cents after hours to end at $3.10. Uh, but overall still above the 50 and 100. Uh, so going to be saying this is bullish on both my indicators. Going to take a close look at EVOL for this week. Next, we have ticker sign DNN. Uh, moving average 10 uh, is above 50 and 100, so positive on that indicator. But again, VWAP is below moving average 10, and it seems to be going sideways. Uh, so, going to be keeping a close eye out on that one uh, to see how it performs for this week. Hopefully, the VWAP can go above the moving average 10. Uh, if not, there's going to be some more oscillation again. Next, we have ticker sign MFH, uh, which is pretty bullish. Uh, moving average 10 is above 50 and 100, uh, but VWAP is below moving average 10. Again, probably some more oscillation on this one. I would say it'd probably be between uh, this 2, I mean, the 712 uh, level to about this 842 level. Um, I would look for the moving average 10 to cross this $8 um, and... 
can see where the top of this one is. This $8.12 level, so if the moving average 10, which is currently at 771, can cross that level, then I'd say, okay, it's beginning a bullish upward trend. Uh, but definitely keep a close eye on this one. It only ended one cent below where it closed, which was 840. Uh, so it ended at 839. So not too bad and not too far off from its weekly high. So definitely uh, I'm going to keep a close eye on this one uh, for a volume potential volume spike, which will increase the value of the stock. Next we have uh, ticker sign TMBR, uh, which has a week high of $3.15. Uh, moon average 10 is above 5100 VWAP is above moon average 10 uh, So positive on both of those metrics. Uh, going to be looking to see how that performs uh, for uh, tomorrow. Uh, overall, still bullish, though, uh, on both indicators being positive, and it seems that it continued to go up a little bit. Uh, ended at 306. After hours went down uh, a little bit to end at 296, so went down 10 cents uh, after hours, but overall still bullish on the name in general. Next, we have ticker sign AKER. Uh, which had a week high of $5.23. Uh, overall, still bullish though. Moon average 10 is above 5,100, and VWAP is above moon average 10. Uh, so positive on all those metrics. Um, definitely keep a close eye on this one uh, since it bounced off of this moving average 50 line. So uh, going to be looking to see VWAP go back up instead of sideways. If not, going to be some more oscillation as well uh, from this $4 level to this $5.23 level. So in between, uh, probably going to be some oscillation between all of those until we can get VWAP to start to go back up. Next up is ticker sign PAVM, which is bullish. Uh, moon average 10 is above 5100, but VWAP is below moon average 10. Uh, not too alarmed on that one because it seems to be at the end of each closing day. Uh, if you look at the pattern, um, it goes below moon average 10, um, and then in the morning it shoots back up, uh, which seems to be the trend that it's going to be doing for tomorrow as well. Uh, so pretty consistent with the pattern. It's been about three or four days of trading of the same pattern, and it seems to be doing the exact same pattern for next week, I mean for tomorrow. Uh, so and it has a week high of 477, ended the day at 449, had a 61 cent rally to end at 510, uh, so setting a new week high for the morning at 510, which is above its current week high of 577, so overall positive metric on this one. Definitely going to be looking at them for an early morning mover since it had a 13.59% increase after hours. Next, we have ticker sign XNET. Uh, moving average 10 is above 5,100, so bullish on the first metric, but bearish on the second metric. Moving average 10, I mean, VWAP is above, below moving average 10. Um, and not really the same thing going on with this one, so I'm not really going to compare it to PAVM. Uh, but this one, definitely going to be looking to see if VWAP can go back above moving average 10. Unlike the other one, unlike P PAVM, uh, this one actually went down after hours uh, to end at 249.45. Um, overall, still bullish, though, uh, on the name. 954 is what its close was, and then the $0.09 cents, uh, difference in that 945 for the day. And we'll have to go back up and test this 997 level, though, uh, in order to break a new high. Next, we have ticker sign FINV. Uh, which had a week high of eight dollars and five cents. Uh, we can, yep, we can see that uh, they ended the day at seven dollars and eighty-five cents. Uh, but then after hours went at fifty more cents. They ended at eight thirty-five. Uh, so they're going to be an early morning mover uh, in my book. Uh, definitely be keeping a close eye on them for some early morning movement because they ended um, or are going to be starting at a new week high. So eight dollars and five cents was their currently current week high. They ended fifty cents above their close, uh, so a six point three seven percent increase, uh, which is going to make a new week high of eight thirty five. Uh, some some potential uh, rallying going on for F I N V for tomorrow. Next, we have ticker sign MTC, which had a week high of four dollars and ten cents. Moving average ten uh, is above fifty one hundred. VWAP is above moving average ten, so it's positive on both of those metrics. Not really much movement after hours, and at three sixty seven. Uh, but going to be looking forward to test as four ten uh, for the end of the week, or by the end of the week. 
Next up is ticker sign SENS. It'll get caught at $5.40. Uh, overall bullish though, moving average 10 is above 5,100. Uh, VWAP is below moving average 10, but barely. Not too alarmed by this metric uh, though, because it seems to be the trend. Every day it goes below, then it shoots up in the morning. So we can see right here, VWAP went below, shot up in the morning. Looks to be the same pattern that's going to happen for tomorrow. Uh, they end at 22 cents above close to end at 549, uh, which will set a new weekly high for them. So a lot of momentum behind this from this $4.7, for this 4.17% uh, increase. Last on here, we have ticker sign CCN, uh, which is bullish. Moving average 10 is above 5100. Uh, in it, Ended the day at 8.53, went up 13 cents after hours in at 8.66. Overall bullish on the name though. Moving average 10 is above 5100. VWAP is below moving average 10, but expecting that to go up since it ended 13 cents above its close. Uh, but we'll have to test this 899 level, which is its weak high. So that's all the stocks on Penny Party. I uh, hope this video helps you all. If it does, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Definitely helps the YouTube algorithm promote the videos. I like to get this to as many people as possible so they can go and see uh, what's out there uh, because there are some affordable stocks out there that you can actually buy. Uh, you don't have to have millions of dollars in the bank in order to trade stocks. You know, these are pretty cheaply priced um and you know just the whole goal is to get everybody to begin trading stocks uh because you can make money trading stocks but some people don't know where to look so the whole goal of this is just to tell you hey these are what's out there these are the current prices of them um and these are you know small analysis of what i think they're going to do uh bear in mind this is not financial advice so i'm not telling you what stocks to buy or what stocks not to buy it's all for educational purposes so just bear that in mind as well um and if you like to sign up for webull and get two free stocks when you pause hundred dollars or more that link is down below in the description all right so good luck to everybody after trading prayers still going out to people who are without power hopefully all that stuff's getting fixed i know texas was hit pretty hard um over here where i'm at in tennessee um it's hit relatively difficult i uh, haven't really gone out further than where i currently live at but um i know where i currently live you know it's hit pretty hard as well so definitely gonna uh you know Send up prayers to everybody who's affected. Hopefully, uh, you know, the winter season will be over pretty quickly and then we can all get back on track to uh, um, where the regular or new regular way of life. Uh, so good luck to everybody out there trading. See you guys next time. Peace.